Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be performing some Databricks operations. Uh, I've got a CSV file and that CSV file I'm going to be uploading into Databricks file system. I'll do a lot of operations on that file. First, I'm going to be reading the file just to have a glimpse of what the data is. And later on, I'm going to be writing it as a data table, write it as a delta table to Databricks file system. I'm going to be writing the CSV file again as a delta table to my data lake. So I have a data lake that I've already created. And finally, I'm going to be writing that CSV file as a table on Databricks SQL. So we're just going to be see how the operations work. For ease, I've already written out the script and just for you to be able to follow through on that and if i do this i'm going to have an error because i've not uploaded a file yet so what i'm going to do i'm going to go to my databricks file system dbfs i'm just going to go to my file store this is where i want the file to be i'm just going to click on upload here this is the path the path is youtube demo data input 01 i'm just going to say okay upload this file it's client data this is the file and i'm going to click on done my file is here so let me go back to my notebook this is the path as i've defined there uh, what i'm going to do is to run this and i'm going to see the data that i have this is the data the data comprise of a number of columns um about client and this is just a demo data and um, I've read the data into um, Databricks as a data frame. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to perform a simple cleanup on this data and what I'm saying is remove all of these spaces because I don't want this space. I'm going to have some problems when I want to write this data um, as a delta table. So. I'm going to clean this up, I'll remove this, and for everywhere I have space, I'm going to replace it with, with an underscore. And where I have this ampersand, I'm going to replace it with a full and. I will see how that goes, I'm just going to run this. And when I do that, you can see that all of my spaces has been replaced with an underscore, and where I have an ampersand is been replaced with and. This is just basic cleanup. In a more realistic project, when you're working within um, organization, the, the ask is much more, you do a lot of cleanup, you do a lot of transformation, but it's just very, very basic. And the next, I'm going to write the data into DBFS as a Delta table. So I'm just saying that, write this, the format I want is Delta. You overwrite if there's any data with that name just overwrite it and this is the path I want it to write into so I'm going to be creating a path called output for now I don't have any output path let me go back I currently have input so when I go when I click when I run this I'm going to have the output and I'm going to be reading from that output here um, output yeah so I'm going to be reading from the output. Let's try this and see what happens. Good. What, what I just did is to write this file into this path, the output, and I'm going to, I read it from that output. If we go back here, I'm just gonna go back a bit and come back and refresh quickly. You're going to see that I have my output and on the output I'm reading from the first folder and here you have my data you can see my Delta table you can see the Delta log you can see the um, the packet file so let me go back the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be writing this as a Delta table to data lake so I've got this data lake I've created this is the name of my my blob my blob is this this is the name of my containers name of my container these are the folders that i have this is my path and i currently have databricks i want to create another folder called demo 
and the folder called demo is what I'm going to be writing into. So you have videos and demo. First, if you don't have, let, let me show you something on, let me go here and just open my compute. And you see the kind of compute I have. If I'm to click on this compute, you can see that under the advanced options, my compute has the enable credential pass through for user level data access. And I'm using unrestricted my compute type. If you are not using this, you're using a personal um, cluster. If you're using a personal cluster, you might need to provide all of these details to connect to your, your, da your, your data link. So if you want to connect to your data link, you need to provide a storage name, provide all of these and um, provide all of these credentials to be able to connect and you provide the path you want to write your data to and you do every other thing. Because I have this present, I have the enable credential pass through for user level data access and on my data lake part, I have a connection that provides me the access to be able to read this data. I don't need to do this. I just come here to say I'm providing this path. This is the path I want to write my data. And this is the data I want to write is the DF client is the DF client that I have that I want to write into that path. And when I'm done, I'm going to say display the data. So let me quickly run this. And this has been written to this path I provided and I'm able to display the data. Let me go back to my data lake. If I click on data lake and I refresh this real quick, you would see the new path that I just created has been made available, demo. And when I click on demo, I can see my packet file and the data log. And if I should do this again, for every time I run this, it creates a version of my data and have it archived. So this operation has been completed. If I want to write this same data as a table, if I want to write it as a table, all I can say is the DF underscore client, that is the client data frame. I'm going to be writing it and I'll say overwrite if you have any of these present. And when I run this, what will happen is it's going to write this data frame into this table called customer record. And if I'm to select, I'm just going to run a SQL script on that. I'm going to say select all from the customer record. And if I do that, you would see the data already present. So all of these are different things you could do when you're working with a very large organization. And the reason I, I just uploaded that data to the database file system is because I just want to quickly show you how you can do that. But in other videos, I'm going to be showing you how to run connections, get the data from different sources, work on your connections to your data breaks, and you're able to do your transformations and your cleanup within your data. Thank you. And if you want to know how I'm able to create a data link, you can see my other videos that explains how you can create one. Thank you. See you shortly.